The fourth torque your body must produce in order for you to run your best will come from the left arm. Now, looking at it on our female athlete, I want you to once again imagine it's the only force acting on her body. So nothing else is going on. The other arm isn't involved and neither are her legs. We see then that because it has been thrust behind her, which is a function of the shoulder extensors that includes muscles like the posterior deltoid and latissimus dorsi, it will exert a pulling force on the left shoulder joint backward in the direction of this white horizontal arrow. And yes, there is a vertical component to this force as well that I've shown by the red arrow. But as before, I'm going to illustrate the net result of these two components with just one simple horizontal white arrow. Now again, if this was the only force acting on the body, do you think the effect of it would be to simply pull her straight backward? Or do you think there might also be some additional reaction? Well, you might have figured it out by now that the only way this force causes her to move straight back and in no other direction would be if it were acting along her midline, such as over here. But that's not the case. So, because it's been displaced away from it, again seen here, it would not only pull her backward, but would also cause her upper body to twist or rotate. It would have to because it does not fall along her midline where her center of gravity lies. So, if she does rotate, the question again is, which direction would it be? Clockwise or counterclockwise? To help you see this better, let's look at this from above on our male athlete. The same force on our female athlete pulling her left shoulder backward can also be seen here on our male athlete. So, as the force pulls backward on this vertical line that now represents the level of his shoulders, we can see where it will try and rotate it in the what direction? Care to take a guess? If you said the counterclockwise direction, then you are correct yet again. And let's show it by the direction of this red arrow. And let's go ahead and place a corresponding counterclockwise red arrow on our female athlete, showing this rotational force or torque. And perhaps now you can envision this one taking place a little better as well. All right, that's going to do it for this video. You can access the link to the next part in this series, as well as all 12 parts in the description below. Now, before I go, I wanna say that if you liked my video, then please click the like button, feel free to share it wherever you want, and leave me a question or comment as I'll be sure to get to it as soon as possible. Also, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and follow Athletic Quickness on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter to stay up to date on all of our speed training tips, articles, and exercises. Okay, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.